Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The value of the Raiders continues to skyrocket since relocating to Vegas, now reportedly worth over $5 billion. The team jumped from being ranked quite low, 31 out of 32, on the most valuable teams list, now to ninth place, according to Forbes. In 2021, the Raiders' valuation stood at $3.4 billion, jumping to $5.1 billion this year, the biggest year-over-year -year jump of any NFL franchise. And the NFL claims John Gruden consistently sent derogatory emails as the Raiders coach. This in response to Gruden's lawsuit in November against the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell, claiming they had leaked his decades-old emails to ruin his career. Gruden has also claimed that the emails that led to him leaving the league were all sent before he was hired as the Raiders coach. Emails had leaked that showed him making racist and misogynistic and anti-LGBTQ statements. However, in recent court filings, the NFL says Gruden continued to send the same kind of derogatory emails, consistently following his start date with the Raiders. Gruden's lawyer says the NFL's arguments are unsubstantiated. John isn't going to try to hide from his deposition. Is the commissioner? In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Nevada gamblers let $22 million in cash out tickets expire last year, leaving many to ask, where did the money go? According to state data, the fiscal year that ended June 30th left millions in unclaimed tickets. Per 2011 law, the state collects 75% of any expired wagering voucher. Then the casino licensee can keep the rest. And at just over four miles, the Las Vegas Strip is packed with hotels and major sports venues. But experts say there's room for growth. Review Journal's Carrie Roper explains. Experts with the Commercial Real Estate Development Association, NAOP, discussed the future of the Strip in a recent presentation, and it could look brighter than ever. The Strip as we know it now uh, could be extended. It might go a little bit farther south uh, to pros possibly around Blue Diamond Road and Warm Springs Boulevard. The Strip could extend south all the way to the M Resort at Las Vegas Boulevard and St. Rose Parkway. In the next decade, sports could continue to play an even bigger part. You could have a strip that's still about four miles long and bookended on one end by a Major League Baseball stadium and the other end uh, with a, uh, an NBA basketball arena. One thing experts cautioned is that further development could be curtailed by water shortages, but notes the resort industry has a good track record for conservation. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. It's looking like tonight is the calm before the storm, with an increase of monsoon moisture coming our way. The National Weather Service says the storms may possibly bring heavy rain and flash flooding in some areas both on Wednesday and Thursday. Another hot and muggy night in the triple digits that should cool to the 90s in a few hours. Then 80s overnight with a 15% chance of showers. On Wednesday, it should be sunny early in the day with scattered thunderstorms developing late afternoon. A 35% chance of rainfall. On Thursday, your highs cool to the 90s with a 25% chance of precipitation. Then 20% on Friday. By the weekend, the clouds clear and highs are back in the hundreds. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Health officials warn of misleading COVID rapid tests. The FDA suggests those checking to determine whether they're infected should use multiple tests over a period of days. While at-home tests are a vital way of tracking COVID-19, an initial negative test doesn't mean people are not infected. Plus, high patient demands for blood have depleted the supply for Vitalant by nearly 50% since the start of the summer. To help with the shortage, those who are eligible to donate will receive a $6 prepaid gift card to spend on a gallon of gas. Donors will also be entered to win one of five $3,000 gift cards. To make an appointment, visit Vitalant.org. 
Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos STN Sports. Download the app today. Joint practices are officially underway. The Raiders and Patriots taking the field for the first time on Tuesday. It was a very welcome change of pace for the Silver and Black as they were finally able to practice against some new faces. I just I just love the, the different looks you get. It's a different defense. It's a different uh, you know philosophy. It's all, those, all those kind of things. We'll hear from Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels on Wednesday to get his thoughts on what it's like practicing against his former team. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamond, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. Bishop Gorman has won three consecutive state championships and four of the past five in the state's highest classification. In last year's inaugural Class 5A title match, the Gales won a three-set sweep over Centennial. Bishop Gorman hosted Centennial in a Class 5A Mountain League volleyball match Monday night, winning in five sets. Senior Kaylin Eberwin had 10 kills and three blocks in the win. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. NHL point totals were posted recently and Circa Sports lists the Golden Knights at 97 and a half points, the third highest total in the Pacific Division. Edmonton has the division's highest total at 105 points, with Calgary at 104 and a half points following its busy offseason. Stanley Cup champion Colorado is the highest point total overall at 114 and a half and Toronto is next at 110 and a half. For more about this betting market, read David Shane's story at ReviewJournal.com. In entertainment, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, Hofbra House will be hosting its annual Oktoberfest. It will run September 9th through October 31st. Every Friday and Saturday, a special celebrity guest will tap the keg to kick off festivities, including Derek Ingelin and the cast of WOW, with contests, live entertainment, and prizes. Magician Matt Franco celebrated the seventh anniversary of his show at The Link. His cast and crew joined the award winner to commemorate the milestone of his magic reinvented nightly show. In Lifestyle, a total of 84 educators from across the country were chosen to receive a stipend for guiding students in research, including one local teacher. Andrea Jid Strupp McKinney from West Career and Technical Academy received $3,000, which she says will help her students reach their goals. Several of my students have, have done research, but it's, it was always a small number. So having this opportunity to reach a bigger number and also throughout the school, and then hopefully eventually maybe with other schools in the district, um, just trying to increase the number of, of uh, students entering science competitions in general. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.